Hello guys, welcome back to another basic Java programming tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to pass an object as an argument to a method in Java. Like a normal variable, you can pass an object of a class as a parameter to a method. So here I am going to create an example that demonstrates how to pass an object to a method in a Java program. So here I am going to create a new class. I name the class as test. And in this class here I am going to create two variables x and y. For initializing these two variables here I am going to create a constructor for this class with two arguments x and y. Now here I am going to make the initialization this dot x equal to x and this dot y equal to y okay also here I am going to make another method public I name it as object check okay and specify the return type as boolean and for this method here I am going to specify an argument that is an object of this class I name it as test so this is a method that contain a single argument that's, that is an object so here the return type that here the type of the parameter is the class name because here the parameter is an object of this class so here the type of the parameter is the class name and this is the variable test okay and here I am going to compare two objects so test is the argument is the parameter that is an object of the same class so test dot ex equal to uh, use an if loop test dot x equal to x and test dot y equal to y if this condition is true here I am going to return true otherwise return false okay so you can understand this method uh, well with the remaining of this remaining code of this program so here I am going to create an object for this class so test t1 equal to new test and here I pass two integer values 12 and 15 so t1 is an object of class test and here I pass two integer value to the constructor 12 and 15 now here I am going to create another object for the same class and name the object as t2 equal to new test with the same values also create another object create a third object name it as t3 with some different value 15 and 20 okay so now here I am going to compare these objects using this method okay for that here I am going to create a statement system dot out dot print t1 equal to t2 now here I am going to make the comparison using that method so now I am going to call the method using object t1 so t1 dot uncall the method object check with argument as t2 so what will happens here now here I call the 
method using object t1 so t1 dot object check that means the current class object is t1 and i pass object t2 as an argument so here what happens test dot x means test is t1 t2 that means here i pass t2 as an argument so test dot x means the value of x corresponding to object t2 is equal to x that means the current object the current object is t1 that means here it is check the value of variable x corresponding to object t2 with value of x corresponding to object t1 here also same the value of object the value of y corresponding to object t1 with the value of y corresponding to object t2 if it is if these two conditions are true it will return true otherwise it will return false and now i am going to compare object t1 with t3 now we can check the program we can see the t1 the value of object t1 and t2 are same because here we pass the same value for object t1 and t2 but for object t3 it is not true this is not t2 it is t3 so t1 equal to t3 is false because the values are different different so this is how we pass an object of a class as a parameter to a method in java